If your computer is struggling to run multiple programs at a time, like Google Chrome, Adobe software, and a game, you're probably running out of memory. So, how much memory do you need? Let's find out. First of all, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys can stay up to date on our latest videos. All right, so one of the easiest things to upgrade on a PC is the RAM sticks. Getting a new RAM kit can give you a noticeable performance gain on your PC. So today, we're gonna simulate a real world usage test and test out a few different RAM kits. So here we have the Lynx Level 3. There's an Intel 9700F, an RTX 2060, and 16 gigabytes of RAM at 2666 megahertz. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Chrome open with multiple tabs. We're gonna have OBS running on screen. We're gonna have Premiere and Photoshop open with some projects on them. And then we're gonna play a game. So we currently have 16 gigabytes of RAM at 2666 megahertz. We're gonna swap that with 32 gigabytes of RAM at 3000 megahertz. With the magic of filmmaking, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. All right, so we have 32 gigabytes in here and here's what we're gonna do. We have Chrome open with all these tabs. There's over 31 tabs on here. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's quite a lot. In the background, we have Premiere open with a project. We also have Photoshop open with two projects. And you know, these are fairly large files as well. All right, so we have OBS also in the background and I'm gonna start recording this. And then we're gonna jump into Doom and just run around, kill some demons. And you know, the whole point of this is to kind of load up the RAM, see how much it can take. And so far it's holding up quite well. You know, we have a lot of programs running in the background and you know, as you can see, in the top corner, it's showing 150 FPS and it's maintaining that, so it's not bad. And I just died. All right, so now let's jump into the task manager and see how much RAM we're actually using. So if I pull up task manager and look at the memory tab, we're using about 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is about 38% utilization. And you know, at 32 gigabytes, it's kind of expected to handle this amount of load. Uh, just for fun, let's actually render out this 4K video. Uh, so I'm just gonna export this media real quick. Export. All right, so now it's gonna do this thing in the background. I'm just gonna let this run in the background. So it's exporting the media right now. Then I'm gonna jump back into Doom and let's see what happens. So our FPS did take a little bit of a hit. It's averaging about maybe 100 right now, which I mean, isn't bad. And you know, the GPU and CPU does do most of the heavy lifting, but even still, it's still pretty impressive at 32 gigabytes. All right, so now let's put in 16 gigabytes and see how this kit handles the same workload. All right, so now we have 16 gigabytes and when we pull up Task Manager, it shows 16 gigabytes in the system. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run the same test again. And as you can see, we have Chrome open with, you know, all these 31 tabs. We still have Photoshop open with this project. We also have Premiere open with this project and OBS is still recording the screen. So now we're just gonna jump into Doom and see what happens. You know, I'm running around playing the game and I'm still maintaining about 120 FPS. You know, considering all the programs we got going on in the background, that's pretty impressive for 16 gigabytes. There's really not much of a performance difference. So yeah, 16 gigabytes, pretty good. Okay, so what did we learn from this test? Well, we found that there wasn't much difference between 32 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes. Bottom line is this, if you're not maxing out your RAM at 100% utilization, your system has enough memory to run all your programs. Now here's the thing, our RAM utilization with 32 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, we were averaging about 11 gigabytes. So what that means is if we had eight gigabytes in the system, we'd see a huge slowdown in performance and maybe some of these programs crashing. So if you're a gamer and all you're doing is strictly gaming, eight gigabytes will be enough. But if you wanna multitask, have you know multiple Adobe software open, have OBS recording screen or even live streaming, eight gigabytes might not be enough. There are benefits to having more RAM though. For example, having 64 gigabytes of RAM compared to 16 will give you more headroom to multitask or do whatever you want without closing any of your programs. And being the easiest part to upgrade, it might be enticing for you to fill all those dim slots with a high capacity RAM kit. But one thing to always keep in mind is the price difference. Do you need 64 gigabytes of RAM or 32? Maybe you only need 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if that's the case, the money saved could potentially go into upgrading the CPU or graphics card in your system. As always, thanks for watching. Give us a like button if you enjoyed 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And also comment down below on what other videos you wanna see.